All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go live on Facebook. I'm just, I'm having a breakdown. I'm having a breakdown. Crash is right here. I've inadvertently trained her just to, and I realize at least it comes in handy because uh, I know where she's at, right here, waiting patiently, flying, putting bruises on me. All right, guys, I want you to know I just started having a complete breakdown this morning. Not really anything to do with that, honestly. I'm glad at this point. That's Parker, if you're watching, Mandy. Uh, but just that the, system, the dog training system is that broken. It's that broken. That we don't have any common knowledge. Yeah, Mandy, that's Parker. Uh, he's going to have to go outside in a minute. Uh, I am installing a new command. It's called Knock It Off. Hi, Adrian. Anyway, I'm just, I'm having a breakdown because I don't understand how the dog training system, and if you said, oh, that's ridiculous. There's no such thing as a broken system. <laughs> Uh, the government in every second world country, you know, that all of these trainers, I implore the IACP, I implore every collar company out there to say our recommendation is novice users explore options using the innocuous pager. Not stand around sitting it here, uh, hitting it, I, I just having a breakdown. I try to think of things. This is how. I live my life, you guys, to try to keep things in perspective because, you know, I live on the edge of every emotion. But if the situation was reversed, so if the situation was reversed and I was producing work, the work I'm producing now with electric stimulus and they were producing the work that they're producing. And I'm talking about Sean O'Shea, Jeff Gelman, Larry Crone. Yeah, I'll name these people by name. The other ones are, you know, uh, and. They were using the pager, and I was after these mofos and saying, you better get off your pager, and you better start hitting these dogs with some constant. And then you can get the results I get. I'm a snotty little hottie. I'm begging these people. You're hurting these dogs. You are hurting, and you're hurting the people that you're telling to do that method. These collar companies should be saying, uh, we put that pager on there for a reason. You don't know what you're doing. If you said, I can pick up a skill saw and cut a four-leaf clover out of balsa wood, one try, lady, I'd say, you don't need my help. If you say, I pick up a skill saw and cut my finger off the first time, <laughs> you need my help. You need my help. You know, that's what I just, that the system is that broken that I dare speak up against uh, you know, okay, here's an idea. Let's hire a private detective to uncover the uh, professional background of Larry Crown, Sean O'Shea, Jeff Gelman, all these people. And they actually found out they really weren't experts with dogs. I don't understand what these people are safeguarding. If they said we are safeguarding the low level stimulus method, you didn't invent it and the people that invented it don't even use it anymore. They don't. I'm calling Phyllis today, and it's impossible to get Phyllis on the phone. I have to just send messages to Regina. But I'm going to say, Phyllis, as the developer of the low-level stimulus method, is it your recommendation that first-time, novice, inexperienced, and even highly skilled trainers start out using an electronic caller via the pager mode? And if you honestly think she's going to say no. No. You need to go on Garmin and find their video of that, what's his name, president of the IACP, hitting that dog too high and saying, oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? That was you startling it. With, just like the people, and you're supposedly a serious pro. What are these people at home going to be doing? Best case scenario, you're ending up with a Parker who is so fortified against the stimulus, it doesn't even work. Now you've painted this person into a corner. 
oh, this dog would probably die. This dog would probably die due to bad methodology. You know, that's what I just don't understand. If the situation was reversed, and I, I would expect to be demonized, I would expect to be a woman trying to say that novices are going to have the skill to use cutting-edge surgical precision with electronic stimulus. I would expect to be demonized. But no, when I point out, and people say all the time, and I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I, you know, when people post videos, you need to understand. I need to understand that as soon as I say something, I'm not friends with those people anymore. You know, and that, you know, because there is no common knowledge. You don't touch their head. IACP should have a test that they give people before they, because apparently you can just get in this organization by one step, paying your dues. Uh, you know, common knowledge in dog training. We, we've examined, you know, from a behaviorist viewpoint, don't rub their head. Use the pager. Even if you're against electronic collars, you'll get spectacular results even if you just use the pager only. Way better. How? You mean communicating via uh, like a text? We don't do anything like that in our life. Oh, please. People cannot even communicate with other people in the next room without a text message. Tell me that's not true. Come to my house. Okay, I'll be here in a minute. He'll be texting me. I don't talk to him all day long. I just text him and tell him what to do. <laughs> it works out better that way. So if you said that isn't any application in dogs. And there's not a mofo on this planet that should even explore that option or, you know, even be thinking in those terms. Let's have good old leather and chain on their neck. The good old leather and chain. I, I, I blocked that guy. There was a guy with a, posted a video saying beautiful healing. While he boom, 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 popped this dog all over the place and said, yeah, there's some that would say electronic collars are good, but I like the feel of good old leather and steel. It's like, are you freaking kidding me? That should be common knowledge. We are moving into a tech age. And every young dog trainer out there I don't know, Adrian. I don't know anything about IICP. They're, they hate me. I'm considered the troll. There's probably like a troll award they're going to give out with a statue of me. <laughs> I don't know anything about them other than I've seen their YouTube. It's awful. They have that Blake from Dream Come True canine giving out an award. <laughs> Believe me, I heard of that. And they weren't saying it in a good way. You know, anybody... If you're going to say dog training has not advanced enough in 75 years that, and the methodologies that these people are using with a prong collar are ages ahead of the people that invented the prong collar, the methodologies they're using with the prong collar now don't even compare. It's exactly the same. I, I just, I start having a breakdown. I just, why can't people be visionary? Why is this system so broken that we're following people like Larry Crone? And then I'm still being attacked by all his little people that are so concerned with, and I, that's what I don't understand. With what? With safeguarding the low level, they didn't even invent it. And if they did, if you said, well, I invented it 10 years ago, which they didn't, but even if they said that's what they did, why wouldn't you change? Why wouldn't you be doing something different? And if you said, well, so what? Back in the 80s, nobody had a cell phone and nobody did text messaging. Yeah, there was a lot more communication problems back then too. You know, that people are not able to see it that way. I see people that don't believe in e-callers at all, training with crippling methods. And I want to say to them, just get the pager only. You, it's... You know, and then you got this Roddy Kirk in Ireland. This guy's going to lead the way with Jeff Gelman's method to getting the collar banned. He's using the pager for punishment, and I'm going to tell you why that's wrong. That just does not allow people to see outside the box. It's a punishment. The whole collar's a punishment. So this pager isn't as bad of a punishment. So we're not as bad of punishers. I told that guy, I am disappointed to see anybody using it that way. Just anyway, guys, I'm just having a breakdown, and it was just, you know, I could see if it really was, 
you know, they were putting my work to shame and everybody is well advised to pick up a collar and hit the constant. Even if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't think, ask Alice. If you go ask Alice. There was a movie called Go Ask Alice. Alice, using the terrible method, hit her dog on 127. The thing started screaming like a banshee and continued screaming after they, in a panic, took the collar off, thinking maybe it was malfunctioning. He continued to scream. She went on the e-collar advocate board. Greg from e-collar technologies, my arch enemy, told her go get an additional collar box. So don't hit it on 127. That there's even such a thing as whatever 120. Hit it on 256 or whatever. Hit it on 256. Not and Greg knows that the pager works. Greg says, go to Larry Crone, put two boxes on there, put a 15-foot leash on and teach this mofo to get used to the stem. You're going to tell me that's not a broken system. You know, these people are going to look back 10 years from now and say, I can see now why this woman hated us. You know, and it said, oh, she doesn't even have balls. She goes on these chat boards and talks all this smack and doesn't have balls to put videos up. Oh, please. I've put more content than if all of them together, put all of their content together, I have more content than all of them. You know, I've probably more content than anybody on YouTube. And I don't even know why. It's very addictive once you start doing it. You know, but that's, that's what just gets me. I think if the situation was reversed and I was hitting dogs with constant and getting their remedial results and I was ramming down people's throat that how you train a dog is you got, you take yourself two weeks, you take yourself a hot collar and you zap that thing into submission. Pretty soon it's just sitting there. The owners are happy for about a week until it wears off, you know, that these people are not any more creative that there isn't. And there are people out there. There are, I was just having a breakdown this morning. It's like, why can't you see, why can't you see past that? And it's to the point now, it's abuse in my mind. When you know every single caller has a pager, and if you can honestly look at that work that these people are producing, none of them can do a trained retrieve. None of them. All these people. They're doing these schools to teach people how to train dogs over here. Franchise e-caller. Train every dog in two weeks. You don't need any longer. It's 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 abuse. And if I, I want someone to go on this chat board and ask what happens when we hit it too high and the dog won't do anything, how do we fix that? And if they say, oh, we never hit it too high, it doesn't make any sense, you guys. It doesn't make any sense. You know, I, I could see if it was so foreign of a concept, everybody communicates by text. If you said that's not anything, I'm sure it's organic in human beings. How? They could feel the brontosaurus coming, the vibrations through the ground, and they knew to run. And if you said, well, humans can't feel vibrations, well, they can feel an earthquake. Dogs can feel it, too. Look it up. I'm going to post that article uh, right before the earthquake in L.A. or something. Some guy did a study. All the dogs ran away. Not that they don't run away anyway, but they really ran away during this hurricane. So he started being able to predict, I don't even know, I promise you, I'm sure this is one of my hallucinations, that the dogs could feel the vibrations through the substrata. I want all of you guys to just forget everything that you've seen about electronic collars and imagine you just met me today. And I said, organic vibrational communication is the oldest form of communication in animals. We're going to slap that on the dog and we're going to help it understand who we are. And I would expect you to say, okay, oh, my sister's here. Vicki, oh, I got to show you guys what my sister got me for uh, Christmas. Hang on, hang on. I got to show you. Oh, yes. Let me find it. I put it up here so she won and wouldn't chew it up. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. My sister's in the group. She only has a cat, but we let her in the group. So I had put this in the group, the uh, the uh, brush hero. 
So when it came, I was like, honestly, sissy, I was so, I shop online so much. I thought, God, did I buy it? Not even remember. <laughs> then I realized it was from you. Anyway, and I love the other stuff in my Fitbit. If I can figure it out, you don't know my learned helplessness. It'll be on my wrist. It just won't be programmed. Anyway, you guys, that's what I want you to think about. And, you know, if you said the people that believe in you, you know, because that one, that one Larry Crone, little whatever crony, is still goes on all my videos, just attacking me, putting thumbs down all the time. Uh, you know, I mean, if you really, you know, see no validity and you want to spend your career doing what they're doing, you know, and, but this guy keeps saying, well, who are your clients? Who are your clients? Well, I'll tell you, I have some pretty high profile clients. And they're all on my diamond bar kettle. So if this guy's that interested in seeing who they are, please go on there and look. But if you think that I think that the people that believe me are a bunch of good old boy rednecks, they're not. They're intelligent, educated people. And I'm humbled by the fact that the faith that these people have in me. My friend Michelle's driving down here from South Carolina, bringing her two pit bulls. The ones that was anatomy of a pit bull fight. This poor girl, she's mortified. I tell you what, she doesn't want to log on to Facebook and see anatomy of a pit bull fight starring her dog. <laughs> but she still brings the dog anyway, you know, and she met me from YouTube. So, you know, these are intelligent, educated people. Any intelligent, educated person is going to see. If I just went to somebody and I'm going to do that, I'm going to go to this woman from Harvard. If I have to get in the van and drive there and say, let me present a scenario to you. These are the choices. This method was developed back in the 70s. They're very committed to it. They're going to stick with it till the end of time. Even though dogs are actually getting more evolved and sensitive, these people are going to stick with it. They're going to safeguard this method. For what reason? I have no idea. They're using Greg's collar. All of them have that round remote. And all of those collars have the pager. So I, that's what I don't understand, why they're so invested in it. That's why I don't understand if the situation was reversed, they would say, you know, because I'm not with dog tra anymore. I was with them for 18 years. Yeah, and it did have a lot of perks, I'll tell you. But I finally decided it just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it because they did not have the main, their main concern was not educating people. Their main concern is selling collars. When they said to me, the final straw was, I asked them to make sound boxes for about five trainers. You don't see the value. In, so you don't see the value in educating people how to use your project product. I'm calling Garmin again today and telling them, and I want all of you guys to email them too. And if you don't, it, but after you make your own decision, when you look at the Garmin videos about how they're training these dogs with constant and Garmin, a great big, huge company is telling the American public to do that, to hit them with constant. They're not even mentioning the pager. They might want to say, you know, here's the litmus test. If you can take a skill saw and cut a four leaf clover out of balsa wood the very first time you pick it up, you would be well advised to get the constant open a school and, you know, win the national. Because your name's probably Mike Lardy. You know. Anyway, you guys, I just thank you all of you for believing in me. And, you know, I I don't I that's just it's it's hard for me to understand that there aren't common knowledge things. And you know, you can tell people and tell people and tell people, and they still I I could tell anybody, if you want to get better, then stop touching their head and you will be a better dog trainer that fast. You'll be a better dog trainer that fast. Just don't do it. And if you said, why? That's a social gesture. Every time I see a person, I start touching their face. <laughs> I'd be like, how much do you get punched? You know, now they have weirdos. Like they had this weirdo on Dr. Phil that would just go around touching women's hair. He had some freakish, you know, fetish. In the grocery store, if women had long hair, you'd start touching it. Yeah, I'll tell you, they got that guy in some, you know, they have a name for that, creepy. You know, so. Anyway, guys, I'm getting ready to go out there and go live. And I'm going to try not to have a breakdown. So, anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me. And, you know, I am going to post that Garmin video. And if any of you guys want to email them and say, this looks like the same method they used back in the 70s. And if they say, that's how we've always done it. That right there is her first clue. That maybe I'm not wrong. You know, maybe I'm not wrong. So anyway, I'll be right back, you guys. Go inside.